Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Bragio. Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was <laughs> our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Who are you starting with? Well, Brag no, we're was, starting Brag with you. Was, why are we starting with me? Because you didn't address either of us when you said how was your week in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, you know, I thought you were just talking in the third person. Okay, well, it's brief. Uh, so, I didn't play Tuesday because I was up in Sydney for a work thing. Uh, and then today we played the world's ban list. Uh, our store did not allocate prizing, uh, slash didn't order it, slash uh, didn't think to order it, something or other. Anyway, we didn't some have any... Some stores get 20 envelopes, some stores get zero. You love to see it. Well, you don't. Um, due to the fact that we had no prizing, uh, we had a very low turnout. Um, but despite this, uh, I won today, uh, kind of. Um, we sort of all drew the last round, but on tiebreakers and things, I ended up winning anyway. Um, what were you on? I was on Unchained Fingsmith. Was there any Unchained Fingsmith in Worlds? Dark Lords. Unchained oh. Fingsmith? Yep. Actually? Yeah, it was everywhere. I'm going to have to look at a breakdown. Actually, that's something I should look into. Um, but yeah, um, it was. I was. I didn't practice with the deck at all, obviously, because it's like a one-shot kind of format. I wasn't going to like put a whole lot of information in, uh, effort into it, especially once we got the information that there was going to be no additional prizing for our efforts. Um, so I was kind of learning how it would work without the um, Necroquip on the fly. Still did fine. And you have. Appaloosa still yeah but like t- the only real combo line I've ever practiced is using Unchained to then go into that and once you start the Unchained stuff like once you use a Ruha from hand you're locked to the fiends. fiends so yeah uh, like Appo's not even in my extra deck because I'm like I don't want to learn the line I'm not going to try and learn the line <laughs> the line's pretty simple Jake well you see you have your Link 2 your Fusion that's now also banned and your, your level 6 and you just turn them all into an Appaloosa and then you do the rest of your shit. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, it, mm-hmm. no just, yeah, just, yeah. Um, yeah. And then uh, Master Duel, um, I am still working on summoning, I think it's 30 or 50 Xyz for the Master Proficiency uh, thing. But I also can't be bothered building a bespoke Xyz deck to expedite this. So I'm just hoping to do that in Hawkist by summoning... Uh, the vampire zombie and uh, Dingisu. Hopefully, that two per duel. Usually, if I draw well enough, should get me there. I was going to interject with something, but what I forgot it? what it was. Perfect. Um, Brag still searching for stuff. Ben, how was your week? How was my week? What would you play Tuesday? I played Madolchi on Tuesday. Oh, you did. That's right. Yeah, it was fine. Um, that's all I can really say. Is it was it was fine. Does off turn Tiramisu kind of make there. a difference? Uh yeah. Yeah. It it just kinda of was worse Tempai. <laughs> and then today <laughs> I played Tempai. <coughs> which was worse than Madolce. Um, <laughs> somehow they're not one upping, one downing each other. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm the worst deck. No, I'm the worst deck. My, my problem with new Madolce is I tried to learn a certain combo line on the fly ah. and completely fucked it up. Like, it, it didn't matter because at the end of the day, you just get a free body. You just don't get a free body and the ability to secret village lock your opponent. Um, Interesting. So, yeah. I was trying to learn that line. It was, yeah. Like, the, de- the deck still shits out. Like, you can now go first and put out, like, four negates or four disruptions. On top of it, and also having the secret village if you want the secret village, but having the secret village logs you of your recursion. Um, so if your opponent can play through all of that, you lose. So there were times when I was like, "This secret village is probably will win more," so I'm just not going to bother. Um, and then today I played Tempai for the Worlds event. Uh, I took out the consistency cards and added the uh, OCG normal summon package, uh, and it was horrendous. Uh, I opened three normal summons every game. Uh, which is pretty bad when you're uh, going second deck and you're opening one hand trap or one board break card to stop your opponent. Uh, so, yeah, I had a miserably bad time. Um, on the plus side, that meant I could come home early and I've built a deck for next week, which is completely different to what I've been playing for the past couple of weeks. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm now on the journey of finding something that makes me actually want to play. 
uh, I remembered the thing that I was going to interject with. Uh, so, you didn't show up on Tuesday because you went to a work thing. Yeah. But you never told anyone you were going to a work thing. So they were all like, the sky is falling. Jake's been saying for weeks <laughs> that he doesn't enjoy the game anymore. Uh, that's it. Like, just he thought this band list was so shit, Jake's quit the game. And I was like, huh. He didn't mention anything to me about that. So, like, oh, damn. If any of you had checked Instagram at all, you would have seen that I was in Sydney. The kids don't use Instagram these days, Jake. Yeah. Uh, I should have made a TikTok about it. Yeah. Danced in front of the town hall. Yep. you got to mm. use a threads. <laughs> <laughs> you got to skip it if I went over on the threads. I don't fucking know. No, what you don't know what this means. <laughs> don't know what this means. I'm you out were, of my own. You were, you were brave to venture in, but almost immediately like, I'm uncomfortable here. Yeah. <laughs> we just got five new subscribers. <laughs> And Welcome. they're gone. Welcome, Zeus. Uh, you used your Riz. Oh, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Jake's new glasses give him so much Riz. I was just thinking that. I hadn't, didn't notice until I looked there and went, My oh, Harry Potter cute. specs. His opening tagline at the start of this episode may have said, The Rizzler. <laughs> <laughs> I feel physically ill. Brag, <laughs> please talk about your week. Uh... So, ban list, I didn't at all get to touch on it because I have been asleep. And I actually haven't played proper Yu-Gi-Oh! since the ban list. Um, this one or the one before? <laughs> I also just remembered, we're on minimal editing tonight, so you're not getting the opening title cards. So, sorry. No Rizzler for you. No Rizzler. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? I played Monica once. Once. And probably not again with no Beatrice. <laughs> Or, I mean, you can go pure, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, so scheming a couple things, haven't really settled on it. Let's see if I get a Trident Dragon from the tins. But we'll get to that. Actually, we won't get to that. Uh, otherwise, we had a... We're covering that. Well, we're going to talk about the tins at some point. Next week. Question we mark? had two rounds of sealed, retro sealed drafts. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I content... didn't abysmally bad at that too. Yeah, I mean, I, I went well because... Do I spoil? I, look, it doesn't get used in my games, so I got a good old Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. In secret, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the errata. Pretty cool. Didn't get to... I drew it once in the Dead Rubber where... Like, and I already had damage on board and I top decked it. I'm like, cool. And then I didn't see it again, ever. But I got three Chaos Sorcerers, so I went all right in the IOC part. The Ferris Servant part was pretty fun but I don't remember it I for the Ferris Servant part pulled horrendously bad so opted to just play like 30 traps yeah oh yeah just playing like stall yeah there's a couple a few people went to stall a few people I mean I guess it's the people that didn't get the 1800 attack monsters went to stall I was playing uh, total time yeah so uh, gravity blind catapult total a bunch of back row you just summon your monsters and just fire at your opponent uh, Meanwhile, you've got like life point game cards like gain 500 life every time you draw. Every turn you're going up and you're just pinging your opponent. And Jordan was on a similar strategy but with the cannon soldier. He was on a similar strategy for the second round. So yeah. when we got to IOC, yeah. he was on the uh, D borderline. Fucking stun. Shuffle uh, back the spells. Yeah. It was fun to say banish one light, one dark again. I miss it. But I don't miss it enough. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, are we going to talk about ban? Are you planning to talk about ban list at all? I mean, we can do a bit of a. a ben won setup. the guessing thing. He claimed. Well, I mean, I, he was he conservative in his picks, though. He only had twelve picks. I think twelve picks is a lot for a ban list. Yeah, I think you're and right. Jake had you go insane every time. I mean, Jesse beat him with twenty six. I think. Jesus. But, I just have higher hopes for this game than Benton, I'm sorry. It's not about hopes, it's about predicting. Yeah, yeah and I predict that my hopes are high. We're going to start splitting these up and have like a, a comprehensive... T- for more ban list content, which we will inevitably start in a month, where we talk about what we want and what we predict. Two separates. Maybe. Scientific breakdown on what the ban list will be. Coming to you in November. Flamebush band. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the tight turnaround as well was super weird. I don't appreciate that. What? Like, if there's any locals on a Monday... Oh, fuck them. 
<laughs> Get that shit affected immediately as quickly as possible. You reckon? Yep. As they say in France. They say fuck. Yeah. 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 Good luck to France. Good luck. Uh, yeah, it's it just feels weird to go, I think more transparency would be appreciated. And that's what I said on my survey. I look forward to your letter. It'll arrive with Ben's product. I can't believe I didn't see that. I, I should have predicted the dragon rulers. Where are my world sleeves? That's a good question. This probably I... should be a question that I fucking ask for the course. <laughs> now that we don't get the fucking this round of price support, God fucking knows if they got sent an email being like, hey, just wanted to confirm that these people players are from your locals. Yep. Ooh. Yep. You know, yeah, I'm not going to say that. Isn't it fun? Regional stores and things. Anyway, um, so, uh, obviously over the weekend you will have been watching, similar to us, the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Worlds Championship uh, coming out of Seattle. Um, so, I'll admittedly brag you haven't watched a lot of it, but Ben, um, what are your thoughts on what you've seen? So much fucking Fiend Smith. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got there. I th- like, every deck has Fiend Smith in it, unless it's Tempai or the... the, the Lone uh, Ritual Beast player. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, six of yeah, six of the top eight are running Fiendsmith. Ten so, Pie, Ritual so Beast, the other Fiendsmith. two. I'm kind of happy we banned Lacrima now. We yeah. just cut that out of a lot of decks. Yeah. Like being able to summon back from the Banished, making the um, Bestial that you've drawn effectively useless. Yeah. That being a common, there had to be a shout for them to... They not. probably earmarked it early. Which? Like, this is all going to get real. Good job. Like... Yeah. I appreciate that. I mean, it's not as bad for us in the TCG because of the two Fiend promos that we got. Like, we still have options, but for the OCG until, I think it's December, and that's even if they get those two cards, which I'm sure they're pushing for. Well, they have the their... level four tuner they get instead. Yeah, yeah, they've got... They've got they've and got they still have Baron they can make with that. Oh, yeah, true. And also, they don't care. They're trying to sell bloody um, crossbreakers, so... Mm. Yeah, they're trying to sell... Ryzen? Yeah. Which is apparently good. Yeah. Uh, Raphaelisia can use their car, like, because it has hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it. Like... What? Raphaelisia uses the holes, Jake. What are you talking about? That. Literally what, that. What? Res, like, Reziel, whatever. They have a Reziel they go into They go into Raph to use their, to use their, um, own trap card. Yeah. Yeah. So the okay. rank four turbo deck uses Rafflesia to use its own engine. Oh, we're going back to those days again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, it could be worse. It could be Treacherous again. I mean, this card is better than Treacherous. I hate Treacherous. Oh, except in Frogs in 2010. Kurt, you need to... A... It's gone. I've forgotten the name of the trap that we were literally just talking about. Treacherous? Treacherous. treacherous. <laughs> Get a Treacherous, Kurt. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, did you have a chance to find any sort of early breakdown indications? No, the, the, the top eight's the only thing they put up. They, oh. they put up player standings for each, each round, and that's it. They, After, don't, they seemingly don't have a rider there. After the okay. MD fiasco, they are very much intentionally not revealing content. Um, Sorry, explain like, that to me. So, from all, you know how all the Master All lists got leaked? Yes. So, they're very much intentionally not revealing cards. At all. They're not revealing shit. But how did the Master deck lists get leaked early? Uh, I don't know, but for the TCG, they are hard, not even talking about what's in players' side decks, only talking about cards when they've been played. So Worlds is played to a different standard than Oceans. Yeah, Oceans. <laughs> what not having this conversation? <laughs> this has been addressed. Yes. Okay, Ben. Cha. Um... What else? Um, so, yeah. Is Ritual Beast winning? No. I don't know if he's in top four. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh. I don't I don't think he is. The match that I watched of him, he just got like fucking dumpstered by Nibiru. <laughs> and then I saw fucking people on Zodiac complaining, like, this guy shouldn't be at Worlds, he doesn't know how to play around Nibiru, and I was like, okay, hear me out. He's at Worlds and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe he got there with Tempai. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I, he got there with the ritual beast because they made a point of being like, he also lost the final of EU to Tampai. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, so he was having like mad flashbacks that entire yes. matchup. Yeah. Just that. <laughs> um. So yeah, I did put up a little bit of a poll in our Discord uh, for anyone that jumped in just to see who was predicting what for our winners. Uh, so with a 43% of the vote, we have Snake Eyes. Uh, with 29% of the vote, we have Ubel. With 14% uh, in equal standings, we have Stun and Stall, and we have Memento. Oh yeah. Who well, would have voted for that? Well, I, I mean, look, they'd be wrong at this point. Mm. Yeah, so very wrong. I didn't even like... know if a memento card hit a table. <laughs> Appaloosa so. did. <laughs> they can make that. I mean, I mean, not now. There's very few decks in the top eight that can't make that. Yeah. Um, before we move on from this point, though, I do want to say congratulations to Fox. Um, very proud. Uh, started the tournament pretty shaky, but mm. pulled it back. Pulled it back. Every time they cut to like the overshot, I could see him playing. I was like, fucking the opponent better fucking forfeit right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, he ended up going X3, uh, came 11th. Um, was one of the X3s that missed Top Gun. Uh, disappointing, but it is what it is. Very proud. Yeah, you take that. Yeah. Um, to the other Australian, I have forgot his name after saying it all day to everyone I, who I, could listen. I've been looking for it. I can't find it. Uh, all day, whenever I've been talking to people about Worlds, I've been all like, oh, this guy's doing really good. And now that we've gotten sat down, I've forgotten his name. Um, but yes, congratulations to you for top eighteen worlds. Yes, um, yeah, top eighteen worlds. Good job. Very well done. Awesome. Um, I can't remember what point I was going to bring up now. No, that's fine. we were done with this. That's fine. We'll um, the next thing. Yeah, keen to see what ends up winning. Um, Spoilers: oh, yeah. It's going to have Fiendsmith in it. Chances are. Um, actually, before we move on, um, just with a couple of the uh, prizing and things like that, Matt. I haven't seen the map. Oh, uh, the, 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 the I've the, seen the the Duel Links map, yeah, which yeah, is the, the yeah, three fucking Duel Links, Master Duel, and oh, they, is that the prize for everything? No, I don't think I so. I don't think it's the prize for everything. It's the only one map I Duel have Links. seen. Okay, Master and Duel. it is hideous. <laughs> it's so gross. Brag. There's an English language Rustles card as there a prize is. card. Hint, hint. Is it blue eyes? Nudge, nudge. It's a blue eyes uh, adjacent card. It's it the... is this guy. Oh, that looks the sick! The Dragon of oh. Illumination Sanctuary something or other. Kind of looks like a mix between Blue Eyes and um, Cyber Dragon. No, not Cyber Dragon. The other one. Jake's stuck on the fact that it looks like Firewall Dragon. Firewall, that's the one. Oh, I mean, the wings are very Firewall. I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ben. Oh, okay. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but... I mean, it's also just the part that's being pushed out of frame. Oh my god, rush dual cards are so good. Please, 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 please. I'll give it six months and we'll have a rush dual's product release. Like, if they don't, I mean, they hopefully have will announce something tomorrow. I, I really hope, you know, like, if we do get rush dual's, I really hope that they, like, do, like, four sets combined at a time. And, like, try I and kind of like product. what they did for the um, English Asia, re- Asia regions. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. I want to see like bulk product consolidated and released. I don't want to fuck around with all of this bullshit of getting these like half garbage sets for like a year and a half. Just box, I get it. Just box it up. Like use the same speed jewel method printing thing of going. Okay, yeah. Here's three. Here's three core sets in one. Yep. Off you go. Yep. Um, speaking of doing uh, concurrent product runs in the most recent Infinite Forbidden release for Asia English regions, mm-hmm. they uh, whacked in magical muskets into it. Yeah, which makes sense. Yeah, I was uh, thinking seeing the <clears throat> Chinese players um, in at Worlds was like going, well, they haven't changed the ban list to be completely accurate for them. Like I'm sure there's cards that I I really appreciated the triple translations <laughs> when the Chinese player was getting interviewed, where like the Chinese player would get asked a question, he could understand English, so he'd get asked the question in English, say the answer in Chinese. Then there was a Chinese to Japanese translator that would translate it to Japanese. And then there was a Japanese to English translator that would then translate it from Japanese back to English. And so I'm sure the... absolutely nothing got lost in that translation. The no things context. Things definitely immediately did. I, I do believe <laughs> uh, there was a difference in... Uh, it was something about his deck being consistent. 
uh, didn't translate properly. And the translator had to stop and be like, ah, it's more consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Which, props like, to the translator. Yeah. It's, it's bad enough when you're doing it just like, in effect of like a triangle, like things can get lost there. But when you've added just an extra dimension for seemingly no reason. Yeah. Oh, and a camera. Like, and then yes. you add nerves to it as well. Like, yeah, uh, terrible, terrible it idea. Took until like round five for them to realize that the secondary microphone was toned down to like two and the main microphone was at like an eight. So they'd be like, interview question. Like when Fox gave his uh, post match interview, you could you, you barely hear him. So I'd like turn the TV like right up. And then blasted when the guy was asking another question. I was like, fuck, okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, like round five, eventually he went. Like the guy's standing there with his own microphone. He goes, and he's got two microphones in his face. Oh, that's why they were doing that. Why would <laughs> yeah. they not just fix the... Vo- like, this shit should have been sorted out long there, before the day. There was camera issues constantly as well. I there saw that. A- they had some issue with, like, the top-down the top camera down. and, like, they um, did a push-up on a player and it said, like, round one winner and it wasn't even his turn in yeah. the first round. So they then like, they're like, ignore this, ignore that ignore camera. That. It's we are, we are over the shoulder watching this duel. <laughs> Yeah, and you could tell it was, oh, there was like there was another camera pushing in from the right, and it was seemingly being piloted by an eighty-seven-year-old because yes. it was like, it was, ah. even million-dollar productions have their issues with live broadcast. I won't begrudge them. At one and point, this seems to be a better attempt. They, they seemingly weren't just rolling camera feeds; they were switching them on and off to conserve something. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so they'd have like, at one point, they were doing a post-match interview. And the tran- they basically finished asking the question, then the Japanese person was saying, oh, we'll be back for top eight. It was then supposed to cut to the English person to say we're back for top eight. And when the Japanese person was halfway through talking, they just cut the feed oh, yeah. to a no signal. And then went, oh shit, we weren't supposed to do that yet. Put it back. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> Um, but moving away from Worlds, uh, we had a couple, excuse me, a couple of product announcements over, well, not product announcements, cards announcements uh, mm. over the week. Um, so the first of which is the very last card uh, to be uh, included within the Blue Eyes Structure Deck. And this is the Indigo Eyes Silver Dragon. Oh, is that actually in the deck? Yeah, it's, a yeah, it's in the Structure Deck. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm sorry. I've mixed it up with the other one. All good. Keep going. Yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, rank 8, uh, 2 level 8 dragon monsters. Shocking. Um, if this card is Xyz, summon, negate the effects of all face up cards your opponent currently controls. Uh, cannot attack directly unless it has a normal it's monster. Just two level 8? T- two yeah. level 8 dragon, dragon monsters. Okay. Um, can't attack directly unless it has a vanilla as material. Detach a ma- material from this card, target one normal monster in your graveyard, or banished. Uh, special summon it, and if you do, it gains a thousand attack. Double it's checking so if good. you have yeah, dragons. Just yeah. doing a bit of a read here. No, don't worry. Oh. Yeah, can't play it in Viking is what he Oh, is. yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, you get close, though. You're halfway there. Just add another Flame Burge. Yeah. Dos Flame Burge. For uh, negating then, everything face up on your opponent's side of the field. Yeah, and then not be able to attack directly with it. Yeah. Ah, link it off. Yeah, yeah just... Then you link into close, man. Um, so the only complaint I have with this is that it doesn't... Like, they have every other summoning mechanic covered and seemingly have given more support to it. So to add an Xyz right at the end just seems really bizarre to me. What the, they added a link at the very end. Yeah, but the link is, like, to get you further into your other stuff. <laughs> like, this one yes. seemingly just gets you a vanilla. Yes. I apologise. Yeah. Like, I feel like it could have been better served as something else. Nah, give them a rank A. Go nuts. What they could Galaxy have done... Galaxy eyes in the bin. What they could have done, similar to what they did with um, the Infernobles, is made a Link 1 that needed, like, Azure Eyes or something as material to make it, and then it would have been, like, a bonkers Link 1 with, like, 3,500 attack or something like that. No. That, I feel like, would have been cooler. This just... I am very happy with what they gave. I think you're being a bit over much here. I don't, it just seems really random to me. <clears throat> For a deck that's, like, not really that involved with Xyz in, like, any of the support that it's given to just sort of whack it in. They're all the same level. 
Sure. Next thing. Next thing is another level eight dragon. Uh, this one is the, uh, what's the word for it? V-Jump promo that uh, was hinted at a couple of weeks ago, the one that was gonna be good with normal monsters, and it is. Uh, so it is Dragolithia Kunzide, uh, level eight earth dragon, zero attack and defense. If this card is in your hand, send one level seven or higher normal monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon this card. Um, so I don't think it's quite, uh, circular, because I think it's and if you do, so it's like activate and then on res, send and summon. I don't think it sends for cost. Okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't send for cost. Uh, and then banish it from your graveyard and then target a normal monster in your graveyard special summon it in defense, but you can only use one of those two effects per turn. Okay, sure. So yeah. It's pretty good. I really like it. Yeah. Uh, when are we expecting the TCG announcement? I'm just trying to. Like, I was meant to go back and check when they did the fight. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. That's a that's a that's a great question. No, because I'm trying to figure out when we had the Fire Kings announcement. I should have done the research I think on it. Genuinely, if we get this product, good job, Konami. I don't think we are. I think this will get packed out and put into something else. Almost definitely. Oh, because we are due the retro, like the animation chronicle thing in January, whatever that will be. Yeah, I feel like this so, will get a Pendulum Evolution treatment and it'll all be split into a separate product. I'm happy to put that in there too. I almost... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Again, I think the V-Jumps, it's not as big a concern as it used to be. They pump them out pretty quickly. Like, if you look back through the last three or four sets, we're getting them very consistently. Remember back it's when just... we used to get V-Jumps? And then we weren't allowed to play them. Yeah. Yeah. But now then, well, this one's one of the better ones, but it, most of the time they're not that good. But everyone can have them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How fun. Um, so, as far as I can see, uh, we are now moving on to some questions. Oh, uh, if you it's a news. Yeah, not much news. Okay. That's I suppose okay. afterwards they'll have a few things, because like, there's really not that much announced from the Supreme... There's not that much announced from Supreme Darkness yet, so they'll probably start. Yeah, that, that that's very much due as well. I wonder if we'll get that shit tonight. Oh, yeah, true. They could do a stream a, at on a point. Sunday night. Hmm. Then again, Worlds will. I don't remember them ever announcing jack shit at Worlds, so I don't see us getting anything. Hmm. Uh, so, following the same timeline, we should have had the Blue Eye Structure deck announced three weeks ago. Side set, yeah. <laughs> May, the May is, yeah, yeah, it's gone. Like, there's I no way. I highly doubt we're getting it. And if we do, it, uh, I don't, yeah. But you can't oh. tell me a blue eye structure deck won't sell. <sighs> it will sell. The issue is it will sell more if you put it in packs. I don't know. I don't Just know. Just like, infernoble. If they keep doing it over and over, no. We, we love being punished. We're gluttons. It's true. So, uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, first one this week comes to us from Crobat5. Uh, now that Eva is at one copy, is it worth making a Drytron deck again to play at local slash regionals, or should I keep it in my binder? If you're going to play against me, build it. I'm still not going to read it. <laughs> one of these days, Ben. Yeah, someone wants to play it. Uh, so when I, I was reading through the other day, trying to like fuck around and be like, how can I make fucking the one that skips the opponent's main phase? Um, oh, I'm a factor pain. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, this card is searchable with Drytron, one of them. And I was like, huh, that probably means that I have to play more Drytron cards. No, <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. No. Wow. I won't even skip a main phase one in order to... I was trying to mess around with the logic of like how do you summon this and then send transaction rollback to transaction rollback uh, Thunder of Ruler to skip your opponent's battle phase as well. Right. At that point, just play Valkyries if you want to skip turns. Yeah, but <laughs> this, this way I get to do the thing that says, you know, I'm not playing Valkyries. But then you'd be playing Drytron and you'd have to read them because you'd have to understand how they work. Or I could cheat. It's true. I could just... Uh, Drytron this uh, I add a ritual spell Drytron this I add a monster Two of them have ended up on board I'm going to make the X's Good game you are, you are just kind of Explaining how Drytron works At this point 
not even yeah, cheating. Sure. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think Eva really gets played anymore, right? Because you knock up the levels and things. I don't know. I, I'm not an expert on Dritron either, so I really can't help you. Um, but personally, I don't think it's the time for Drytron because Bistiols are everywhere. Yeah, when you tribute your Ben 10 and your Ben 10 gets Bistiled, feels great. <laughs> Bad time. Um, and then second question from Crowbat5. Uh, what are, yeah, what non-meta deck have you had that you have had success with at locals or regional event? Um, it's been a while since I've not played Snake Eyes. It's been a while <laughs> since my, I've had success. My adventure, of not play- <laughs> <laughs> my adventure of not playing Snake Eyes has been going fantastically well recently. So, uh, Jesus, when was the last time I won that? I won Rote Locals with Rescue Ace before it had any of the good cards. Yeah. That was a fun time. Yeah. One day you'll get back to it. Let's go with that. I was out here playing Rescue Ace before it was cool. Before they got into the fire. Yeah. To fight it. What about you, Joe? Um, the one that comes to mind um, is when I came second at the Mega Regionals with Metaphys. Because it was like a hard counter to the Trickstar format in that I wanted my hand vanished and I didn't need to search anything that turn. And it was a slow enough game state that if you put a big enough monster so it couldn't just like Horus keep attacking you, it was great. Yeah. Hmm. Um, God, I missed that attack. Uh, <laughs> a Willy Bell keep attacking. Yeah. Uh, next question. Um, yes, from Drew D. Hey! He's back at the Discord. He's, 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 he's in, in the, the Discord. Discord, yes. Um, so I'm glad you guys thought enough of me to worry I was dead. Uh, well, I knew you weren't because I've been raiding with you. No, no, I don't get any um, He did get married, which is close to death at times. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, I'd assume she's not watching this podcast. D- you'd hope not. Um, he well, does yeah, have. Yeah, it is good. Uh, so he has a question that only the C4G crew can answer. <laughs> Uh, what is the most dangerous animal you could defeat in 1v1 combat? <laughs> this no, is... No weapons. <laughs> or, and no animals that have venom or like like any of those types of creatures. So snakes, spiders, that okay. kind of dealy. What was I thinking about fighting the other day? The question is, could I beat something bigger than a horse? Well, I definitely can't take down a horse. No, it'd be stupid to think so. Yeah. Yeah. Giraffe wouldn't stand a chance. Fuck, they're big. Could I take down a puma? No. What about a warthog? No. I'm making a deep reference, by the way. <laughs> Got nothing. So mad you'll spit in your helmet. That's where. That's the only thing I can um, go. So Jake could defeat a European swallow. Not an African swallow, though. It's too fast. North or south? How would he grip it? Grip it. Grip it. <laughs> By the coconuts. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Um, I don't know. I don't often think about what animals I could defeat. In I was at the zoo Mortal last week. Combat. Instead of being here, I could I, I could beat the baby gorilla, but all the other gorillas above four months old, no chance. Oh yeah, it's a it's a very finite window. Um, that was so small. I'm like, I've never seen a grill that small before. Maybe like I've a seen s- a few. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm I'm reaching here. Maybe a small lion cub. I could defeat a giraffe. Could you? Yeah, break its leg. What's it gonna do? Kick me? A shark. I was thinking of fighting a shark this week. On dry land? You've no, no, it, no, no. <laughs> in um, in Lake Illawarra. Okay. Where it's like not too deep. I'm like, it can't. There's no way it can have advantage over you in the in the lake. Let's go. You, you got to remember that punching into water, you lose a lot of velocity. So I have to you're use thinking sp- like, maybe me... like a Port Jackson shark. You got to stick your hand in its gill. Yeah. Oh. Give it a little. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I will. I will fight it's a shark in a lake. Move on. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Next question. <laughs> All right. Six R six asks. 
What is your bad slash cursed deck? Well, apparently Tempire, as I learned today. Branded. Really? Yeah. I never enjoyed Branded. That's all right. I bought it, played it like maybe two or three times and went, if this is the best deck, I'm not playing it. Like whenever I play it, it falls over the points it's meant to, it can and is meant to fall over. Just whenever I try that on someone else. I just, I resent that other people seemingly have better luck with it than I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when yeah. you ash Bragg's branded fusion, Bragg passes. When yeah. you ash other people's, uh, they still have the extenders. Yeah. So much of branded though is like, what you can achieve in the end phase like branded fusion is obviously a big part of it but like if you can trigger another 17 things in end phase it's like nothing ever happened it's branded's fucked <laughs> oh maybe i'm scooping before the end phase and that's my problem that is possibly the problem yeah i'll just get mad and quit um i'd say mine pr is probably agents i haven't had success with that deck for a very long time well i mean to expect success after 2011 it got support Lots of things got support. It yeah. got a link monster. Just like aliens. Poor aliens. The alien no. link three is actually really good. Yeah. The problem is it's a link three. Oh no. Have alien you heard link. of the Ogdodix? Alien link accounts? one when. When well, searches the card that puts eight candles on everything as soon as it's summoned. And then the link makes it so that they can't do anything. Where am I cloudy in support? They got that. <laughs> um, Never liked the clouding gimmick Sorry Henry <laughs> Fucking that's a deep cut um, IR Cool Guy asks uh, Now that Eva is at 1 Will that be enough to convince Jake to play A fairy pile deck again A couple things, 1, wasn't a pile 2, absolutely not It right. was yeah. a pile Of shit Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of angel shit uh, I mean yeah you wouldn't Because you just covered that, the fact that you have not had success with it. No. And I Could answered that time. almost immediately after he asked it too. Um, six I six asks again. Um, what would it take for Jake to play a fairy pile? So much money. Um, actually, no. I'll put a. I'll put an actual figure on this. If we can get for seven hundred uh, subscribers. Uh -oh. No, no, no. Wait, the ceiling the, has to be higher than that. On the YouTube channel, one yeah. thousand well, we, we are, oh, One yeah. thousand. And we haven't lost it. I was going to say, we've been at like 680s for like a the good longest solid six time, months. I know. No. So Tell a friend. I will make put a it, fake account. Make 10. I will put it at 1,000. If the YouTube channel gets to 1,000 subs, mm. then I will play a fairy pile for at least four tournaments. Yeah, that's Did good. Did you ever do the deck profile for that deck? God, no. <laughs> you should do the deck profile for that deck and then be like, if you give me 1,000 subs, I'll actually play it. That feels like the reverse of what you're supposed to do. Considering the only time we... I mean, the the reason we got the subs is because of your deck. Which deck? Uh, the Unchained one that you did three weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for watching that. Profiles. Yeah. You I don't know, but my decks are mostly dog shit, so I don't feel that... Like, I don't want to be it, fucking... It doesn't here matter. And put Shut out it garbage. It, no, because you've got to go through... You, to truly watch a deck list, unless if you're watching like a topping one, you've got to go through heaps. So just join the crowd. Mm. Yeah, Who cares? Just there. put it in the ether. Oh. God knows we need the engagement. If Dark Arm Doors can get subs, <laughs> so can we, by uploading slightly better quality profiles. That was literally the premise of my channel, is I can upload slightly better quali quality profiles than Dark Arm Doors. Oh, I'm sure I can get to 1,000 subs. So this is... I feel like this is Ben's motivate. Like, I always thought I was a very spiteful person, but now I've met Ben, and I realise I'm not so bad. I didn't create a 6,000 plus sub channel just to be like, fuck you! <laughs> I won't correct him on the sub count. But, yes, effectively. Well, that's the reason why. These deck profiles were so fucking shit. I mean, I'm also in that boat. I'm not going to say who it was. Oh, you can guess. I, I'm in that boat, but he's very much the No, captain. but I mean, I mean, the reason I made the channel was the other channel. Did you even introduce me from Braggio today? Yeah. I don't remember. It's been so long ago. It's been... We've got 40 minutes till 6. Or well, 49 minutes. What's the significance of 6? Just letting him know. I mean, Time's ticking. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's only two questions left. Oh, I'm, well, uh, I'm, I'm going to be late. Like, way late, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> second last question from Crabat5. 
Uh, seeing that Konami decided to hit branded by limiting branded fusion to one, is the pure version of branded still worth playing in this new format? Yeah. No. <laughs> it has endless recursion. If it's played by someone who knows the many many lines, it Take can still sort of stab a break. There's beef on Cowboy for Game. Yeah. And that, all you I, should subscribe oh, for next week. All I said is that Bragg doesn't know the many, many lines. Like, Branded is fucking convoluted. Oh, I'm just saying move on. Like, we're already phasing Snake Eyes out. Branded's long fucking gone. <laughs> no, Get Brand- on the next bandwagon. Branded's in the um, boat with Dante and Alistair. Yeah. They ain't leaving. It, it is now it is in Alistair leaving. territory. There's more drama here than Bold and the Beautiful. You should come back next week. Oh, God, I love that show. Yeah? Yeah, it's great. You seem to be forgetting the part where he has to watch it every day for his work. Ah, oh, there is that. Uh, and then lastly... Ridge um, Gang. Ridge Gang. <laughs> lastly, um, what counter card do you want to see next? Uh, we have the counter <laughs> Zeus in Typhon. Uh, and in uh, some special letters, we have the uh, new promo for Anti Nibiru. Yes. Um, oh, we were supposed to talk about that. This, Jake this, eventually skipped this, it. Yeah, it is dog. Jake didn't want to get banned. This dog. I didn't do it on purpose. He's I, a coward. It didn't have a link. If Jerome's forgotten his tie, we are in a different era. It's true. We Jerome are tireless Jerome era. If I ever get asked to do commentary, I'm going to wear a black shirt, and yellow tie. No, you should do it reverse. Yellow suit, black tie. <laughs> <laughs> if I can find it. <laughs> Done. Specially made. Yeah, the black tie. Ooh. I was going to go. <laughs> I thought you said it was a black tie dress. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I suppose we can uh, chat about that briefly. So, in the um, news that's come out recently... Oh, my... doesn't want to pull up the links. Hang on. So, we got a uh, counter Zeus... And then we got a counter Nibiru. The counter Nibiru is called a uh, girl's name because dragons are all female. Um, it attributes uh, your out. monsters equaling level 11 to summon itself. Uh, and then it floodgates your opponent to only... Be, oh, then pops the highest attack on Doesn't floodgate you, you both? Floodgates yep. you both to four summons. Uh, and it is sort four summons for the turn, not while this card is face up. So if you Nibiru your opponent, then tribute the Nibiru, your opponent can no longer summon. Yes. Yeah. And that's one of the three cards that we got. Um, oh, yeah, so talk that, about one, that one being Thea. Um, I mean, I suppose in answer to the question, we can just stick to the one. We can yeah. maybe stretch out the news for next week. Um, how many other anti-cards would we want to see? Give us anti-snake eyes. <laughs> yeah, that exists. It's called Dimensional Shifter. <laughs> Surely these mole chummies, one of them's going to be anti the other mole chummies. When I got told about the anti nib, I thought we were going to get also a shifter and also a dark rule no more. Mm-hmm. I hoped mm-hmm. so much for an anti shifter. It's called I mean, It's called Cyframe Gear Gamma. There's a lot of counters. The issue is opening them because most of them are limited on the ban list. I like shifter. How would you do an effect for Dark Ruler Forever? Mm, dark Ruler Forever is your opponent. Your card effects cannot be negated. Yeah. <laughs> it's a continuous spell that stays face up. It's like. Your monster effects can't be negated. Poor skill drain. Yeah. It w- uh, I suppose in a similar vein to like how the fight... Oh, hang on, my recording's fallen off. That's not good. Why has it done that? You tried to launch a video. No, it's because ah, I, I was looking for the... We're wrapping up. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just going to finish my ball there. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching long, feel free to like and subscribe. If you are uh, listening to your favourite, jump to our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Thanks. Shout out to YouTube comments.